Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a new Mach 3 screen set. I can't tell you how many times a week I get asked, what screen sets do I recommend? What features do they offer? You know, what different types of buttons are out there? Of course, it really all boils down to what the end user's preference is as far as what they're looking to do. Um, I'm going to show you one that I feel will appeal to most people, mainly because it gives the software more modern feel. That's probably the biggest complaint that I hear. Um, and again, I want to show you just how quick this is to bring up for those of you just getting started with screen sets. You can see I'm inside of Mach 3 right here. I'm going to click on the View button. And when I do, Load Screens comes up. And then you can see it brings us inside the Mach 3 folder. I'm just going to scroll down. And you can see I've got the dark screen set set. I'm going to double click on it. And like magic, you guys can see the new screen set. This screen set is a more modern feel, at least at what I'm seeing. You know, you've, of course, got the uh, jog pendant here. And, of course, we also got the LEDs look for all the DROs, which I feel really, you know, brings it up to date, so to speak. You will notice, of course, you really have limited buttons as far as for scrolling. You've got program. You've got offsets, uh, shortcuts. This is awesome for those of you learning. Check this out. We click on it, and we can see we have got all of our shortcuts for the software which is really nice, um, but what really expands this feature even more, if you come down here to M and G codes, you can see all of your G codes and then your M codes down here. So if you're learning Mach 3, this really, really will accelerate the learning curve because everything is right here nice and neat. Come over here and click on program, it'll get us out. So again, it's really just a matter of what look and feel you're looking for. But overall, you can see we've got our run button, our pause button, our stop button, um, everything here, your scale you can click on, reference all home, see how the reference buttons light up. I mean, really, really cool. We got to go to the Save Z button. If we come over here to Offsets, you can see exactly what we've got here. A lot of guys are using edge finders. This is really simple to use. You can see here we've got Select Y Plus, Select Y Minus, and then over here, we, of course, have got our fixtures. So, again, for whatever offsets we want, you're all set there. Your work offsets are saved, your gauge block height. I mean, this is pretty elaborate. You can see here the diagnostics are missing, and I'm going to show you that real quick. If you wanted to do anything with diagnostics naturally, you would just come back over here, load screens, do the same thing in reverse, and just click on 1024 set, open. <clears throat> Just takes a second and boom, your screen's up. Now, of course, you come to diagnostics, you're in. So that's about the caveat with screen sets. You know, some will have everything, some won't have everything. I feel that that one really is really complete in the sense of what most end users are looking to do. You can always switch back and forth, so it's really not that big a deal. Again, I'm switching right back now. You've seen how easy it is. Um, it's just a process of getting the feel of what you're doing. But one thing I do like, we load G-code. Come over here, go to G-Code, go to Roadrunner, and you can see here that looking at the workpiece right here works really well. And best of all, we can simulate the run, which a lot of guys are always looking to do, especially to time jobs or quoting a job. You can see everything right here. We'll click on Rewind, bring everything back. Um, just to give you a little quick uh, preview of what you'd see, we'll click on Run. You can see how the spindle LED will come active. Spindle on off button becomes active, and then our DROs become active. So again, you can see it's a pretty cool screen set. It definitely is much easier, I feel, on the eyes than uh, the stock screen set as far as bringing the software more up to date. Um, but overall, I know that there are still going to be guys out there who are really not looking at a screen set in terms of trying to make it more modern, so to speak. They may have specific functions that they're looking to do, but I still feel this is a good mix, especially with the jog pendant here. Um, a lot of guys don't even know that's inside of Box 3. This puts it right here. If you guys want to download this, of course, it's free. You can come over here. I'm going to put the link in the video description, and you're going to scroll down. Here is the first release of the software. And you're going to want to come scroll down to the second release. This is a newer version. And again, you'll want to just come down here where it says Dark Screen Set, Zip Folder. Okay, guys, once you select to download the Dark Screen Set, you'll notice that when you download it, it's a zip file. You can see it here. Now, your default location for downloads under Windows 10 typically will be a downloads folder as well as Windows 7. Um, in my case, I selected to download it to my desktop. I'm going to double-click on the folder. Now, once I'm inside, 
I'm going to hold down the control button on my keyboard and then I'm going to hit one time clicking on my left mouse button to highlight bitmaps. Then I'm going to come down and click on dark screen set. You can see they're both highlighted which means they're both selected. Now I'm going to go up to them wherever they're highlighted and right click and click on copy. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my C drive because I know that's where my Mach 3 folder is. And I'm going to double click on the folder and then you want to go in a spot where there's no folder and right click. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. I'm going to click on paste. Now, of course, I've already installed the screen set, so in my case, it's asking me to replace the files in the destination. You will not get this message. Once again, I'll state, if you go to your Mach 3 file after doing the copy, as I just did in the previous step, and you go to paste these inside this folder, you will not get this message. The reason I'm getting it is because I've already installed it. So watch, I'll hit replace, and it's not going to do anything because it's already got the same file in here. We're all set. And you can see there's a dark screen set. It's already added the bitmaps and everything is set and you're all good to go. Exit out of here and run Mach 3. This way you can actually download uh, the file. But some of the features I just wanted to show you guys, if we go under general config and you go into here to screen control, you'll want to check on the high resolution screen and you'll want to uncheck box DROs and graphics. It'll just keep the screen a little neater. Um, everything else there is pretty much set. You'll click OK and you're all set. So again, to switch back to the stock screen, very simple, load screens, come back, go to 102.4, open. And again, we can come over here then to diagnostics if we needed to. We can come back to program run. I mean, it's all the same. There's really nothing that's changed. Go back, view, load screens. We'll come back, dark screen. And you can see just how fast this is. I'd say about 95% of you will pretty much stay in this screen set uh, for general work habits. I mean, once your machine is behaving, there's really no reason for you to do anything else. So, again, you guys can see all of the features. I highly recommend if you download it to really just take your time because there is a lot going on on this screen. But once you guys get the hang of it, you'll see it's really not that difficult. And again, very clean setup. So again, I hope that this will help some of you to give your Mach 3 a more modern feel. And not only that, it just makes it, I think, a little easier on the eyes. Um, uh, certainly, uh, there's always room for improvement. I know it may not solve everyone's issues, but it will certainly give you uh, a more functional software to where I feel that you guys will be growing in terms of learning all of the feature sets that this offers, um, especially with the offsets, because I can't emphasize enough how much time that will save once you guys learn how to use them for your projects. So again, I hope that this video has been helpful. Please like and subscribe. Take care.